First look at Havoc OS 3.0 based on Android 10 running on the Xiaomi Poco F1. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to get notified of new videos. Hey peeps, what's up? Manji here, back with another video. And in this video, we're going to have our first look at the initial build of Havoc OS 3.0 based on Android 10 running on the Xiaomi Poco F1. So this is how Havoc OS comes out of the box. You have Pixel Launcher baked into the ROM and you also have AOSP messaging and phone application along with AOSP camera. However, you can install the Google camera ports on this ROM and I will have a link to those in the pinned comment. If you tap on the recents, this is how your recents look. And if you click on the application icon, you will get two options. One is app info and the second is split screen however if you have an application say the camera application which does not provide you the option of split screen in that case you will get the option of pause app and application info we will now go into settings and then we can go into apps and notifications and here we will see all the apps which come baked in so you have the aosp keyboard browser camera contacts files google and google play services were installed when i installed the G apps, then you have AOSP messaging, phone, and pixel launcher baked into the ROM. So, next up, we will go into battery, and you do have your normal options of battery saver. In battery saver, you do have the option of setting a schedule based on a percentage if you want to, and then you can use the slider to set that specific percentage which you're looking for. You do have adaptive battery, again, something which Google added in android 9.0 pi you can pause the video and read more about it if you want to you do have the option of enabling battery percentage in the status bar and you have a new option called smart charging once you enable it then you can tap on it and you can you know pause the video and read what smart charging does and you have these sliders and the toggle to reset the battery statistics if you want to you do have your last full charge and screen on time as well in the battery then we have display in display you can configure your brightness level night light you have adaptive brightness a feature which havoc has added is live display so you can configure your color profile to be dynamic standard or if you want srgb you can use that so you have three options for that then you have a toggle for reading mode you have color calibration where you can calibrate your rgbs and you also have picture adjustment wherein you can adjust the hue saturation intensity and contrast using the sliders which have been provided inside live display you do have the option of setting your screen timeout a toggle for auto rotate screen and once you enable that you have a toggle to auto rotate the lock screen as well then you have the option of colors you can choose between natural boosted and adaptive you can configure your font size display size screen saver lock screen display you can configure your lock screen message whether you want to add users from the lock screen or not and what all content you want to see on the lock screen then whether you want to wake your lock screen for new notifications or not you have a toggle for that and you also have double tap to wake so double tap anywhere on the screen to wake the device next up we have theming in theming the first option is styles and wallpapers so these are the new pixel 4 styles and themes which are baked into havoc os you can select anyone which you like and then click on apply your system UI will restart and you will have the new icons and the new accent color as well. If you go back into styles and wallpapers, scroll, you can of course add your custom style and wallpaper if you want to. I have a separate video for this specific feature and that is linked in the description of this video and it will also pop up as a card on the top right of your screen. Next, if you click on clock, you can choose between default, bubble, analog and your type clock all of these are working absolutely fine and of course if you click on wallpaper you can change your wallpaper now the rom does not have pixel 3 or pixel 4 live wallpapers baked in but i am pretty sure you can just download and install the apk in case you want to then in display you have a toggle for dark theme enable it and system wide android 10 dark theme will be activated and if you want to change your accent color you can do that you can change your font and you can also change the icon shape you can choose between these different options which we have and the same applies for the font these are the options which you have for the font and these are the options which you have for the 
accent color so a lot of options for you know accent color fonts and icon shape then we have sound and sound you can of course configure your media volume call volume ring volume alarm volume if you want to vibrate for calls you have a toggle for that you can configure your do not disturb then you can configure your shortcut to prevent ringing so if you press and hold power and volume up at the same time the phone will either go into vibrate or into mute or you can just turn off the option altogether in case you don't want to use it you have the option of setting different ringtones for different sims you can configure your default notification sound your default alarm sound and you have toggles for all these options which are listed here nothing much to talk about in storage in privacy you have permission manager wherein you can configure your app access to all the options which you see over here so if we go into location you can see that location access is allowed all the time for google and google play store for camera it is allowed only when it is in use and for browser it is denied now let's say you want to change the permission for any of these applications all you need to do is tap on it and then you will get all the options so if you click on allow all the time and then go back you will see that the camera application has now moved over to allowed all the time then you have a toggle to enable or disable the display of characters when you type your password and what content you want to see on the lock screen next up we have location so in location this is your master toggle for location in case you want to enable or disable the location and then when you click on app permission this is your permission access to the location itself so again you have three sections over here one is allowed all the time then the other is allowed only when using the application and then the third one is denied of course you can change your preferences when you tap on the icon you will get the various options and you can choose whichever one you want to next up we have wi-fi and bluetooth scanning so you have toggles to enable or disable wi-fi and bluetooth scanning even when wi-fi and bluetooth are physically turned off and if you click on advanced you can configure your emergency location service google location history and google location sharing nothing much to talk about in accessibility digital well-being and parental controls is wherein you can see how much time you are spending on your phone and if you want to lock or limit access to certain applications after a specified amount of time you can do that from digital well-being you can track down what all applications are sending you notifications and how many so this is basically something which google introduced which lets you you know get away from your smartphone and enjoy the real world if you go into system you will see that we do not have the option for gestures and that is because havoc os 3.0 has moved that option to configuration center let us now go into configuration center and see what all customizations we get in configuration center first up is status bar we have a toggle to enable or disable double tap on the status bar to put your device to sleep then in case you want to see your network traffic indicators in the status bar you have a toggle for that and if you want to see the activity arrows or not and what is the auto hide threshold in kilobytes per second then what all icons you want to see in the status bar you can choose between these different options then if you want to replace the lte icon by 4g you have a toggle for that then if you want an icon for data disabled in your status bar or not and if you want the roaming indicator in the status bar or not next up we have quick settings in quick settings if you want to display the tile title or not so you have a toggle for that right now you can see that the title of the tile is being displayed below it so you have wi-fi bluetooth text if i disable this and then open the quick settings you will see that those titles have now disappeared then if you want vibrate on touch for the quick settings tiles or not and you can also configure the layout of your quick settings tiles in portrait mode in landscape mode and in the quick bar then we have ambient display so you have a toggle to show the battery level at the bottom and whether you want always on ambient display or not now this is something which won't work on the poco f1 because poco f1 has a lcd panel and not an amoled panel so i'm not sure why these options are even showing up for the poco f1 but you can always you know enable ambient display for new notifications double tap to check the phone so that is working absolutely fine that is double tap to wake there it is working like a boss and the battery percentage is also showing at the bottom then if you want lift to check phone hand wave and pocket so with pocket when you take your phone out of the pocket if this toggle is enabled it will wake up the lock screen so that you can 
see your notifications same applies for hand wave you can wave your hand and then lift to check as well then we have buttons and buttons you can customize the power menu so you can choose what all options are displayed in the power menu so right now you can see we only have power off and reboot we can enable screenshot and bam there it is you can see that the screenshot option appeared then you have lock screen options for the power menu so do you want the power menu to show on the lock screen or not do you want the reboot option to show when you press the power button on the lock screen or not and you also have toggles for advanced reboot screenshot and flashlight these are enabled when you enable the toggle above so if i enable flashlight i can now enable flashlight over here i cannot enable advanced reboot but if i enable advanced reboot here i can now enable the advanced reboot option for the lock screen then you have the option of screen off torch so if you want to double tap the power button while your screen is off to enable the torch or you want to long press the power button when your screen is off to enable the torch or you want that disabled then you have volume rockers you can configure your volume steps for alarm dtmf media notification ringer system and voice call then if you want to swap the keys when you rotate your phone if you want to configure your media that is playback control using your volume rockers if you want to wake your device using your volume rockers and if you want keyboard cursor control or not next up we have gesture so this is something which is generally present in system but havoc has moved it to their own customization center you have jump to camera so you press the power button twice quickly from any screen to activate the camera then you have system navigation you can choose between android 10 gesture navigation two button layout which is android 9.0 pi or you can use the three button navigation which is old school android style which is what i am using right now now once you enable gesture navigation you can also tap on the gear icon which is settings and you do get the option to configure the sensitivity and the amount of screen height to be used as touchable region for back gesture then in havoc customizations we have navigation bar so in case you want to swap the back and the recent buttons you can do that using this toggle which is provided and you have customization for the lock screen so double tap to sleep on the lock screen do you want to see the media artwork on the lock screen and what is the blur level you want to use for it if you want to force fingerprint authentication that is when you reboot your phone you can unlock your phone with your fingerprint then you have two toggles to enable or disable successful and unsuccessful fingerprint authentication then you have the toggle to enable or disable charging info on your lock screen next up we have notifications so you can enable or disable heads up notifications and if you tap on heads up notifications you can add an app for heads up notification or you can blacklist an app from using heads up notifications then if you want to see your force force notifications or not and you have your in call vibration options which are vibrate on connect vibrate on call waiting and vibrate on disconnect then you have animations so right now they haven't added any options to animations and the same applies for system however if you go into battery saving you have these three toggles and if you want to know more about it feel free to pause and read what these options are doing and in miscellaneous you have wake up on charge so as soon as you connect your phone to the charger if your screen is turned off it will wake up then in about phone you have details about the developers the support team the maintainers and important links related to havoc os custom rom as for the benchmark scores these are the benchmark scores which i got on this build and as i always say benchmark scores are never a true reflection of the performance or capability of a custom rom they are just numbers so there it is peeps that was our first look at havoc os 3.0 based on android 10 running on the xiaomi poco f1 and i hope my video helped you Likes, shares and subscribes are appreciated. Feedback and comment more than welcome. See you when I see you.